Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the topic, uh, the past paper question related to the topic log and exponential functions. In last class, in the first lesson, we have discussed the complete concept of this topic. And in last class, we have discussed the topics, the questions, the past paper questions related to this topic from 2020. Now, today we will discuss uh, the past paper questions, the topical questions from the May June 2019, all the variants. Let's move to the first question. Question number six. Showing all necessary working, solve the equation natural log of this is equal to this. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. Now we can see that here the command word is solve and the instruction is that showing all necessary working. Now what to do is that we need to, we, we have to keep the properties, the laws in our mind that here the natural log of 2x minus 3 is equals to natural log of x squared minus natural log of x minus 1 because we can see that we have a property that whatever we have over here we have to shift it to the power because we, we know that the property is if we have log of a log of x so we can write this one as log of x power a now we if we further simplify it this will be equal so we know that there is another property that we if we have log of x log of x minus log of y this will be equal to log of x by y so we have we can write this one as uh, log of 2x minus 3 is equal to log of x square by x minus 1 because we can see this one is the first function and this one x minus 1 is the second function here. So from here onwards we can cancel out these two and this will be equals to 2x minus 3 is equals to x square by x minus 1. Similarly if we simplify it further so this will be 2x minus 3 into x minus 1 is equals to x square and finally this will be 2x square minus 2x then minus 3x plus 3 is equals to x square now if you rearrange further so this will be equals to 2x square minus x square minus 5x plus 3 is equals to 0 and we will have a quadratic equation x square minus 5x plus 3 now keep this in your mind that from here onward this one is a quadratic equation and we can use the quadratic formula and simplify it further but right now we can directly use the calculator and let me share the final answer that this will be equals to this will be equals to let's see the final answer that mod 5 3 a is 1 b is minus 5 and c is plus 3 so this will be equals to 4.3 first answer will be 4.3 and the second answer will be second answer will be 0 0.7 0 0.7 अब एक चीज important point है कि we always have to verify in exam mostly students इस चीज को skip कर देते हैं Okay, verify your answers. This is a very important point that verify your answer 
that it's valid or not. Now here we can see if we put x is equals to 4.3, this term cannot be negative. Similarly, if we put 4.3, this term cannot be negative. So this answer is valid. Now let's check this one. That if we put x is equals to 0 0.7, so x is equal to 0 0.7. So let me check this one. That 2 into 0.7 minus 3. So we can see that if we put x is equal to 0 0.7 so here this value will be 0 0.7 minus 3 so this will be equals to log of minus 1.6 minus 1.6 so which means that this thing is not valid and this answer is not valid so that is why our final answer will be x is equals to 4.3 only Okay, so this is a very important point that especially in log when when you have a final answer and when you when you got more than one answer you have to verify all of them and keep this thing in your mind consider otherwise you will lose one mark. Let's move to the next question. Question number 7 and it is from May June 2019. Question paper 3 3. Question number 5 power 3 minus 2x is equal to 4 power 7 power x. So what we have to do is the command word is solve. Solve means we have to find the values of unknown variable. And unknown variable is x over here. In this expression we have the unknown variable which is x. Now they give a, a, an instruction. They provide an instruction that use the logarithms use logarithms so and the important point is even agar hame ye instructions na bhi given ho still we we keep this thing in our mind that whenever we have the unknown variable in the power we have to take log on both side like agar aapke paas log of let's say if we have equal expression 5 power x is equals to 3 Isko to hum exponential se log ki form kar sakte hai. But if we have 5 power x is equal to 3 power x. Now in that case, what we have to do, we have to take log on both sides. Now if we take log on both sides, this expression will be, let me take the natural log. Taking log on both sides, so this will be natural log of 5 power 3 minus 2x is equals to natural log of 4 into 7 power x. Now here we can see the formula 
that whenever we have a power we have to shift it to the to, to the front side so this will be equals to 3 minus 2x 3 minus 2x into natural log of 5 because pichle last question mein bhi humne ye property use ki thi this is called the power rule now what we have to do is here we can use the product rule the product rule of log now if you take the product rule this will be natural log of 4 plus natural log of 7 power x now here again we can use the power rule so this will be equals to this will be equals to 3 into natural log of 5 minus 2x into natural log of 5 is equals to natural log of 4 plus x natural log of 7. Now if we simplify it further so we can see that we have two like terms. So this will be 3 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4 is equals to x natural log of 7 minus 2 plus 2x natural log of 5. So from here we can take x as common so this will be natural log of 7 plus 2 natural log of 5. Now if we shift it to the other side, if we shift it to the other side this equation will become, let's see, this x will be equals to what this will be equals to 3 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4 whole divided by natural log of 7 minus 2 natural log of 5. Uh, if we use from here we can use the calculator and we will get the exact answers. So this will be 3 natural log of 3 natural log of 5 bracket close minus natural log of 4 natural log of 7 bracket close minus 2 natural log of 5 so this will be equals to minus 2.703 So this will be the final answer. I hope that the concept is clear and if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section. Thank you.